Monday night, candidates were still picking up their campaign signs throughout Orleans Parish. But let's talk about the Bloom versus Banks race. Both candidates garnered 50% of the vote. But when you look at the actual numbers, there was a 131 vote difference. A little over 100 votes separated cheers for a win. I'm not going to concede tonight. And applause for a promise to demand a recount. I just want to check it out. I want to be thorough. We've ran such a hard race. Up for grabs, the District B City Council seat, a chair left empty by LaToya Cantrell, the city's newly elected mayor. There was a number of absentee ballots that were thrown out, so that's one of the issues that I'd like to explore. The Orleans Parish Board of Election Supervisors say they don't throw out ballots. The board does reject certain ballots. Uh, for failure to meet the guidelines and the criteria as set by Title 18 in the Registrar Voters Office. They say those rejected paper ballots are kept and voters are notified that there was a problem and are given the opportunity to review them. I don't know how many ballots were rejected for District B, but there were close to 70, 75, 80 ballots that were rejected citywide. City Councilman District B. Jay Banks, a former King Zulu, was declared the unofficial winner of the District B Council seat Saturday. I don't really have an issue if that's what he feels like he needs to do. I don't think it's going to change anything, and I do have faith in the process, and I think that the numbers are going to remain consistent. Chief Election Officer Arthur Morrell says in order for a recount to happen, a candidate has to first request one. In this case, that has to happen by Wednesday. From District B, Tammy Eswick, WDSU News.